Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own producer tag in FL Studio 20. So if you don't have a producer tag, you want to make one so you can start tagging your beats because you wanna start uploading them online or you wanna start sending them out, this is the video for you. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music production, online business, and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you click that subscribe button and just check out some of the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it now let's get straight into this shall we now i will be you know let's just record in here i'm unsure if i can record while i'm also recording a video i'm hoping that i can but basically this is very, very simple. Very, 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 very simple. All you need to do is you need to have a pretty cool voice. And if you don't have a cool voice, you need to have someone else that has a cool voice. And then apart from that, you need to figure out some sort of thing to say. That's gonna be the hard part. Um, the only way that you can really improve on that is to just learn about marketing, study marketing and, and branding and stuff like that. And eventually you'll come up with something good. But I guess just make something up for now. Listen to a bunch of songs, listen to other producer tags, make something up for now and get it on the beat so you can actually have a tag and then you can always update it down the line. Now, if you don't know how to record your own vocals in FL Studio, check out my video on how to record your vocals in FL Studio. That will walk you through the process of how to do that. Um, I will kind of walk you through the process here. Uh, if you want this template, that will also be linked in the description down below because I do have a beat tag specific channel in this template that will also help you out but i'll be showing you how to deal with that as well let's just get straight into it we're going to use insert 23 to actually record our stuff so let's go in, in one. one there, there we go. go and, and as, as you, you can, can hear, hear that is playing back in the master track we obviously don't want that echo while <laughs> you're listening to this otherwise that will be a little bit distracting so we can play in to hair uh, do we need any processing? Hmm, we don't really need a bunch of processing. I'll probably just use some light compression on this. So what I, I'll do is we arm this to record. Next, we just need to record something. Now I'm just gonna record my tag because I know it and it's just easier than trying to come up with something new right about now. So my tag is, I think it's, it's Cartery Cooking. Something like that. Cartery cooking. I don't know if it's is cartery cooking. Let me listen back to it. <laughs> Come on, tag. This is cartery cooking. So my tag is this is cartery cooking. So you know that it's cartery cook the beat in it. That's basically the, the concept behind the tag. Very, very simple, very, very straightforward. I didn't go too crazy on it. Okay, so let's do that here. We're gonna press R on our keyboard but you could come over here and go to record and go to recording audio and all that sort of stuff, but just using R is easier here. So there, now we need to press play so we can press space, I believe. Yeah. It's Carl Ray cooking. It's Carl Ray cooking. So we've got it's Carl Ray cooking twice. I'm going to use the second one. And basically, You should probably do this along to a beat so you can kind of get where you want to get it to, but I think this is perfectly fine. Now we can listen back to it. So what we'll do is we'll double click this and we'll actually send this to one of our inserts. We've sent it to insert 24. So we turn this on, turn that off, take off the recording because we don't need that anymore. Um, let's stop that so it stops bringing in the audio. And then if we listen back, it should play back uh, pretty clearly You have to press R again to unarm recording It's car Ray cooking so as you hear very very boring, right? <laughs> Not very interesting. So let me name this tag recording Now we can add some effects first up we want to add a compressor on this now these days I would use isotope 
nectar for all my vocal processing but as this is a producer tag and you may not have isotope nectar i'm just gonna try and use fl studios plugins which i did believe i used the first time i created my tag which is the same tag that i'm using till today so let's just play this back and see at what point this the car the audio is cooking. so it's around nine so we basically want everything under let's say under 12 to come up so let's do two to one ratio and hopefully everything is car ray cooking sounds like everything is pretty much in one place there so that's pretty good and we could eq it if we want it's not necessary but we could also always do that let's get fo where is it parametric eq It's car ray cooking. We'll boost the high end a little bit. It's car ray cooking. And bring that down a little bit. Okay, so we've got that here. Uh, what I'll do now is I will bounce this down. So we have that set up. So I'm pressing Control, Alt, and C. And this will basically control alt c there we go this will basically bounce it so that we have the audio with the effects so now we have the audio with the effects we don't really need this anymore though well, we can keep it on there it's car ray cooking Actually, I do believe I'm missing an effect. I think we need some reverb on there, actually. So let's add Fruity Reverb. And let's move this to the same place. You can do this without bouncing it out first. I just forgot to put the reverb. It's car Ray cooking. Yeah, let's pick a... Let's, let's mess around the reverb and see where we want it to be. It's car ray cooking. It's car ray cooking. It's car ray cooking. It's car ray cooking. I mean, that's good enough. <laughs> that's good enough, man. That's good enough. So what we'll do now is I'll actually bring it over there. So we still have the tail end of the reverb coming out. Now we can bounce it one more time. And we will put it back in this channel, but we will get rid of any effects just so we've got a channel where we can like edit the, the volume and that sort of stuff. It's car ray cooking. So once we have our audio there, all we need to do is create a unique version of it. So we'll click on uh, the audio we'll create another one we'll go to make unique and then we need to reverse that and basically we just want the reverse into our first word so let's see what this sounds like it's covering that's not quick enough we want the reverse to come a little bit before that it's covering cooking and that's basically the main element of it done now we can comp this Again, and now we have this. It's car ray cooking. And now what I do is I'd add delay. So in this channel, we've just got a free delay. We've got it set on four and these are all the settings. And as you can see, it's quite low. Now the reason I like to add delay on each specific beat is because your delay will then be timed to the tempo that you're using. So I don't actually add delay on my raw audio. So let's listen to this and we'll actually hear it with the delay. It's car it's ray car cooking. It's car. It's it's actually like far too loud this turn it now. It's car ray cooking. It's car ray cooking. Yeah. 
That's a producer tag. <laughs> it sounds mediocre, but it's a producer tag. And it kind of it feels like it's a little bit too loud. I feel like I should have recorded it sitting way back. My bad. But these are, these, these are the basic steps that you can go through to create a quick producer tag that you can just fling on your beats. Sit further away from the mic to record it so that you have more room to work with. And this is my actual tag. We'll play this back without the um without it being on the beak tag channel let's just put on zero this is called Ray Cookie. so as you heard it's basically the exact same thing it's just this one my voice sounds way deeper and louder and this one it's way less it's the same you know reverse type thing and then all you do is you just add the delay and then bob's your uncle you've got a producer tag it doesn't have to be too fancy but yeah make sure you sit further away because that sounds medial it just it sounds too in your face basically I'd, I'd turn this down extremely and just you know you need to get the right recording take but since this is just you know a video setting an example i didn't do that here but i hope this has shown you very clearly how to create your producer tag now we're going to recap those steps but before i do i want to ask a question of the day and that question is what type of beats do you produce let me know in the comment section down below and now let's quickly re-go through the steps you want to record a line from you know your voice just saying whatever you're going to say in your producer tag then you want to add some compression and add a little eqing add some reverb then you want to consolidate that bounce it into a wav file then you want to create a unique version of that wav file reverse it add it to the beginning of your tag so that it comes in it like sweeps in and then you can comp all of those together bounce it to a wav file and then you add delay for every beat that you're making very very straightforward <laughs> very very simple if that sounded complicated go back and watch the video and because you made it to the end of this video i want to give you a free gift and that free gift can expire at any time so please grab it now i'm going to give you 10 free loops to use in your beats you can sell these beats you can do whatever with them they're totally royalty free link will be in the description down below or go to jcarterray.com forward slash free loops and grab that asap now, if you've got any other questions or any other tutorials you'd like me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. I really love making these videos and I'll be happy to help you out. I'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music production, online business and online marketing. Peace out and have fun with your new producer tags. I'll see you next time.